Welcome to the Ozone Sun Lab, located in Boulder's David Skaggs Research Center. As part of NOAA's Global Monitoring Laboratory, the Ozone and Water Vapor Group launches these small instruments, called Ozone Sons, high into the stratosphere to measure Earth's protective ozone layer. The Ozone Sons are prepared here for flights from Boulder's Marshall Field Site. The lab is also the shipping hub to a dozen global launch sites. Before launch, the sons go through a multi-day preparation where they are tested and characterized. On flight day, the instrument package is assembled and taken out to the Marshall Field Site, just south of Boulder. Large rubber balloons are filled with helium, or sometimes hydrogen, depending on the supplies available. The ozone sonde is placed in a protective styrofoam enclosure, while a small intake tube pulls air down into a salt solution. Any ozone molecules in the air react in the solution, giving off a small amount of electricity that is measured and transmitted back along with GPS location and meteorological data. The balloons carry the instruments far above commercial aircraft and into the inky black of the stratosphere, where naturally formed ozone likes to gather in what we call the ozone layer. The ozone layer acts like sunscreen for the entire planet, filtering harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. The data transmission is received by an antenna on the roof of the DSRC building. Data can be viewed live during the flight. When the balloon reaches 30 to 35 kilometers, it will have stretched nearly 30 feet across. When it can't stretch anymore, it bursts and falls back to earth on a parachute. Rewards are attached to the sons along with a free postage mailer. Return sons are cleaned and can be flown again. The data is quality checked and then uploaded to public databases for anyone to use.